Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I wanted to really talk about some of these stock brokers, what they're doing, why they're doing it, the pros and cons of, of it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, we have merch coming next week, so make sure you guys like and subscribe because a giveaway is coming very, very soon. Also, if you guys wanna learn more about investing in the stock market, go ahead and check out my course, and you guys can use promo code DIVIDENDS to get 50% off, so at least check it out. It's definitely worth it. So now guys, let's jump into it. Roll that intro. Let's go. Bang. Now, as of today, we've had crazy volatility in the market. We've had companies like GameStop really go from $17 all the way up to $513 per share. And now a lot of these brokers are restricting trades on certain stocks, which honestly, I do see both sides the pros and the cons of this. And here's the thing, Robinhood is not the only one restricting trades. We've had companies like Webull restricting trades. We've had uh, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, and a lot of other ones. Now, honestly, this is very common among stockbrokers to do this. The reason why is because most of these sites are very, very beginner-friendly investing sites. So the last thing that these brokers would want you to do is hop into these trades and have you guys lose a ton of money. At the end of the day, they want you to be a reoccurring customer, and if you lose $500, $1,000 or more, you are less likely to invest in the future. And at the end of the day, they want you to come back and keep investing with their platform. Now, let's actually go ahead and look at a couple stocks that Robinhood is going to be restricting. The very first one is the one and only GameStop. I'm sure you guys guessed that. Crazy volatility with it. The stock went from literally $513 all the way to $180 in less than one hour. So a beginner investor could have literally been invested at 500 bucks and held all the way down to 180 bucks. So crazy volatility right now with this stock. The second one is AMC, very, very similar. Huge ups and downs. The second one is BB. The third is BBY, then we have EXPR, then we have KOSS, then NAKD, and then NOK. So all these stocks are very low float, so there's not a lot of shares out there. So once it gets traction or volume, these stocks tend to skyrocket because some of these are some of the most shorted stocks, so they are more likely to do a short squeeze. Now, for those of you that don't know what shorting a stock means, I'll break it down for you because it's not too complicated. Imagine if you guys wanted to short a pencil. Now, really what you would do is you'd borrow that pencil from your friend and you'd sell it at the market value. Let's say the market value is $10 for that pencil. Then what you do is you wait for it to fall, it falls back down to $5, you buy that pencil back and then you give it back to your friend. So you make that difference of $5. Now, most of the time, if that's say your friend wanted some interest or something like that, that's how uh, the broker would make money. They borrow shares in hopes the stock falls. But the thing about shorting is there's no max loss as compared to buying a stock. If you bought a stock for five bucks, the most you can lose is $5. But if you short a stock at $5, it could go to $500 like GameStop did. So now all these huge corporations that short stocks are really covering their losses, buying back those shares, causing that stock to go up even more. And then retail investors are saying, oh my gosh, look at this stock. And so then they buy it and there's a huge emotion and FOMO in the market, making these stocks worthless but go parabolic. Also, like I said, Robinhood is not the only broker out there that's going to be restricting trades. We have TD Ameritrade, Charles Swap, and Webull is going to be restricting trades on GameStop, AMC, and KOSS. Now, yes, honestly, there is some pros for these brokers doing this. The very first one is it's great for beginners because beginners are more likely to hop into these riskier stocks and honestly are more likely to lose money. So I just want you guys to understand that right now there's so much volatility right now in the market. Now that brings me to point number two is when the brokers do this, this brings down volatility for beginner investors. Now, yes, there is some cons of these brokers doing this because honestly, if you guys are a intermediate investor or a trader or a more experienced investor, you could be missing out on some serious profits from shorting or hopping into these stocks. If you could have bought in uh, to a stock for 20 bucks and have it go to 300 or 500 dollars, you'd be very, very happy. Now the thing about all this is if you're still holding your stock, you can sell it, but it's just having a harder time 
buying these stocks. Also, the last and final thing I want to get off my chest is all these stocks had no correlation with the market. You know, with all this volatility in the market, you know, we had a down yesterday, but an update today. So obviously there's no correlation between small cap stocks or low float stocks in the main market, like companies like Amazon, Apple. These companies are worth billions of dollars and uh, these other companies really aren't worth a whole lot of money. But overall, I just want you guys to understand is the brokers are doing this for a reason. They're trying to help beginners out. And obviously, yes, you can't buy all the stocks you want. That's another downside, but evidently they're doing it for a reason. So you have to kind of understand is you're using their platform and it happens, it happens. And you could be missing out on some money, but at the end of the day, it's their platform guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you smash that like button you may be entered in for a uh, giveaway here so make sure you guys like and subscribe but we'll see you guys tomorrow remember to stay happy stay positive and stay safe out there take care everyone Bye.